What up YouTube, I'm back. Left you guys hanging all summer long. I apologize for that. It's been a busy year for me. I've gotten really into videography and been traveling a lot, doing a lot of golf events, doing a bunch of real estate stuff. Uh, but you guys aren't here for that today. Today, we're talking more tires because I know that's what you guys want. Cryptotal rear. I've been running this tire now lately and uh, we're gonna get into it, so let's go. <laughs> so we're gonna start things off with a a pin comment from my last video. Donald Morell 1636 says, drinking Corona and calling it a beer does not inspire me to believe your tire choices are any better. But that's just my thought process. Rolling on the floor, laughing emoji. Well, Donald, I only have one thing to say to you. You can have any brew you want, as long as it's a Corona. That's Vinci, so enjoy it. You. <sighs> hey, if it's good enough for Dominic Toretto, it's good enough for me. All seriousness, Donald, do you ride Schwalbe Nobby Nicks and drink Bush Lights? I think so. All right, all jokes aside. Donald, thank you for uh, the support. Appreciate you, man. Um, anyways, no, I'm not sponsored by Continental, but yo, Continental, if you're hiring, holler at your boy, because I want a job. All of you guys that are longtime subscribers of my channel know I have had a love affair with Max's tires. Uh, my go-to setups have been Asagai, DHF, DHR, pretty much kind of cycled through those, Outback, Aggressor, Dissector, DHR, some Recons. I don't really mess with the Recon anymore just because I really don't care that much about climbing. Like, I feel like being fit is a far bigger advantage than uh, a Recon, but that's just me. But with that being said, the reason why I've liked these Continental tires so much is how fast and efficient they are, and they just feel like, I've said this before, they feel like a sports car tire. High performance, high speed, um, and I can trust them. That's the one thing about a tire. If I can't trust my front tire, it's not going on my bike, period. That's why I despise the Nobby Nick. I've ridden that tire a million times, and it lets me down every single time. I can't stand it. I have zero trust in that thing. Same with the Maxxis Ardent. I used to ride that tire back in the day. God, those are the two worst tires on the planet, in my opinion. But this has been my, no, my new go-to, and I actually bought another one. I like it so much. And I got new packaging, too. This is the new packaging. Um, this is the Cryptotol. This is my new go-to front tire. Every time, this is the Endurance casing. Um, so it's like an XO Plus, kind of in between XO Plus, double down. Um, this is the Soft Compound. Yes, yeah, for Enduro riding. Uh, but this has been it. I put this tire on the front of my bike and I have not taken it off since, period. I absolutely love it. I have not been able to ride um, as much this year as years in the past. I usually average 1,500 to 2,000, 2,500 miles. I've got like 400 maybe this year. Um, I had just been traveling a ton, um, working with a company called Gecko. Uh, shout out to Vincent Blair. I'm gonna talk about this stuff soon. This is my little secret weapon, but this is, this is the Census Grip Spray with Gecko Technology. I'm gonna be doing a highlight video on this stuff. I am working with this company and uh, I'm doing a lot of their video and promotion work for that. Um, so that's, that's a future, future video. Or right, I am running these Census Light Grips. Been really happy with those lately, so. But anyways, that's coming in the future. But I have not taken this tire off my bike since I've ridden it. It is the most confidence-inspiring, fastest tire I've ever rode. And that's, I've always been looking for a tire that is extremely fast, but also gives me front-end confidence, front-end grip, front-end feel. This tire does it all. I, I'm probably gonna try the Argatol. I've heard really good things about that tire, but um, I don't know, I just have such a hard time taking this off because I'm just so in love with it. So my go-to rear tire lately has been the Zynatol in the Trail Casing Endurance Compound. Um, this is the Goldilocks of rear tires for me. This is it. You don't feel that resistance on the tires, that drag, 
that I've felt on like Maxxis tires or some of the Schwalbe tires, um, especially ones that come to mind are the Asagai Max Grip and the Magic Mary Ultra Soft. Those tires, um, WTB Vigilante, really like that tire. Felt really locked in, a lot of drag, a lot of resistance. These tires, I don't feel that at all. Um, it's crazy how much more refreshed I feel at the top of the climb running these tires. This is how much I like them. Here's another design at all for the rear. Do I really need to post my receipts? I'm not sponsored. I think I got them both from Amazon. Uh, I paid the full price, whatever Amazon, whatever Amazon's price is. Usually you'll see me go back to a product um, after I try something and this is the longest I've ever not been on Maxxis tires, ever, since I started riding my mountain bike. So take that for whatever it's worth. All right, let's get into the Cryptotal rear. Um, I've done some lift days and I am blown away by this rear tire. It's like a DHR2, Big Betty, um, Judge, probably not like slow like a, a WTB Judge, but this thing's insane. Um, this combo right here, money. So I would like to try like a Cryptotal Endurance Super Soft whenever Continental makes one. I will try that. And then I would run the Endurance Soft Cryptotal rear in the back. That'd probably be my go-to setup for lifting. So I just got back from Tamarack. I was doing some lift days with this tire set up. Just absolutely feel locked in. I feel like I had zero breakaways. Uh, the most confident I've probably ever felt up there. Dirt was pretty good, but you know, late summer dirt, there was pretty loose. Um, it's been worse up there, so take that into consideration. But the dirt was, you know, good for Tamarack, but um, good for Tamarack is still really bad. <laughs> the dirt up there is just loose powder, and um, these things just knocked out of the park. Kind of to wrap this up, that was going to be my deciding factor was to get these tires um, out on some lift days and kind of really see what they're all about. I love them around town, um, just so easy to pedal. Um, just super fast. The rolling resistance for me is is kind of the hook, and um, I feel really confident on these tires. I feel like I can really trust these tires, and uh, I feel like I can push them as hard as I want, and uh, they haven't let me down yet. So I'm definitely I'm I'm sold. I'm still sold. I don't know if I would run the Cryptotal rear as my kind of go-to rear tire. It does feel a little bit slower than the Zynatol just on your everyday riding, but I mean, I rode the other day coming down Table Rock and the thing rips, like it just hooks up and it's not quite as playful as a Zynatol, but um, a little bit slower, but when you're up to speed going downhill, I don't really notice any difference in speed, um, to be completely honest. It's more of the like flatter flowy climbing where I notice the Zynatol is just a little bit more refreshing and a little bit easier to uh, to get around. But I mean, I, I'd ride either or I'm not in a rush to get this off. I'm gonna probably finish the season out with this on the back and uh, go from there and get some more time on it. Also, I'm not as fit as I was last year. So maybe some of that drag is just my legs. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not here to tell you what to ride. I don't care if you don't like my opinion because I drink Corona's Honestly, I, I could care less. Ride what you want to ride. Hey, it's your bike. You got to like the tires that you ride, but I'm just here because I know you guys appreciate my experiences with these tires and how passionate I am about tires. They're my favorite part of a bicycle or motorcycle. All seriousness, thank you guys so much for tuning back in. I apologize again that I have um, not been around, but those of you who follow me on Instagram at Dustin B. Johnson, no, I've kind of been uh, out and about doing a bunch of golf stuff, um, doing some filming videography for some pretty cool people, some pretty big golf influencers um, out there. So I'm really stoked about that. Shout out to the PGA Memes Challenge. Um, those guys put on some really cool events that we've been doing some, um, some pretty cool things with. So um, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I have not had time to ride my bike as much as I want to this year. Um, so... But closing the season out, things are kind of starting to slow down. I'm going to start hopping on the bike more the last the next two months and really pack in some miles there. 
and uh, kind of go from there. But yeah, I'll be doing it on these Continental tires because I just, I really love them. I've tried every tire I can think of and nothing else compares in my opinion when it comes to rolling resistance, grip and confidence, Continental owns it for me. Um, that's, that's, that's what I'm gonna ride. Yeah, score has been killer. Um, I think next year maybe we'll try the long travel version. Maybe get a little Zeb and a long stroke shock on this thing. See how it does. But yeah, that's it for me for today. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.